For those who are visiting this video for the first time, I recommend you to go to my YouTube channel that is Law and Presentation Skills and view the first video that I have uploaded. The link to that video is given in the description so that you can get the basic idea that for what the channel is all about. For those who have viewed my videos, I got three words for you. Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Anurag Roy, a law graduate and you are watching Law and Presentation Skills. This video is all about the basics of Indian Penal Code, the origin of Indian Penal Code, the elements of crime and stages of crime. These are the basic things of Indian Penal Code that you have to understand before you go further in detail with each and every section. Have you heard about IPC or have just started to learning it and facing different kind of problems? Have you faced a problem to learn every section in detail? Don't worry, I am here to help you out. In this video, I will focus the basic idea of IPC. I will cover all the basic topics of IPC that will help you in every section. There was a first law commission that was constituted in 1834. Lord Macaulay was the president of the commission. McLeod, Anderson, Millet were all the members. The draft of IPC was passed in 18. 60 October 6 and came to operation on January 1, 1862. The Indian Penal Code is basically talks about crime and offenses but the interesting thing is crime itself is nowhere defined in Indian Penal Code nor in definition clause. There are some professors who tried to define the word crime in their own way like Austin says that a wrong which is pursued at the direction of the injured party or his representative is a civil injury or a wrong which is pursued by a sovereign or his subordinate is a crime there are also a definition of professor Kenny which states that crime are wrongs whose sanction is punitive and is no way remissible by any private person but is remissible by the crown alone if it is remissible at all. There are also essential ingredients when we talk about crime. The ingredient are such as person, mens rea, actress rea, illegal act and the object against whom the act of crime is committed. We will deal with them one by one. First of all, we take person. The definition of a person is given under section 11 of Indian Penal Code that states that person includes any company or association or body of person, whether incorporated or not. The interesting thing is that the corporation is also be liable for the criminal activities. Although he has no identity, it has no physical body, ni mind and all that. When we talk about mens rea, this is a legal term and has the meaning of guilty mind. There are also two maxims that is quite related with the mens rea that states as actus non facit reum nisi mens rea that means the intent and the act must both occur to constitute a crime. Another Maxim is actus me in vitro factus non est mens actus means uh, an act done by me against my will is not my act. So basically these two maxim are related with mens rea. Mens rea literally means mind. Mens means mind and rea means prohibited. So when we talk about mens rea includes uh, it includes intention, recklessness and knowledge. Because in, in these three words like intention, recklessness, that is carelessness and knowledge, 
the person has his own intent there are some persons like main ratan lal dhiraj lal and hs gore who state that it has no application in ipc but it has been applied in two different so mens rea is applicable in indian penal code in two different ways that is positive and negative when we talk about positive it is included in a sense that intention knowledge in honest voluntary these words denotes that the, there is a criminal intention and when we talk about negative sense that is general exceptions that is chapter 4 that general exception states that when there is a absence of criminal intention when we talk about actus rea that is the third element of crime actus means act and reus means prohibited an act which is prohibited is actus reus actus reus is a important element of a crime if there is crime and there is absence of actus reus then that will be no crime when we talk about injury that is for el- fourth element of a crime there is a definition provided under section 44 which states that any harm whatever illegally caused to any person in body mind reputation or property is an injury quite simple the fifth one is object against whom the act has been committed against whom the crime has been committed okay these were the elements of crime without these element there will be no crime there are some stages of crime as well like first stage when say that mental contemplation mental state is basically not punishable because it is not possible to understand that what is going on in the mind of a person preparation is also another stage where the the person prepares tries to prepare for a crime and that stage is also not punishable but there are certain exception like when there is a crime that is cannot that cannot be prohibited or we can say that that offense are so grave in nature that cannot be stopped at the further stage attempt when person fulfills all the requirement of crime but still the crime not committed i will discuss it in detail when we came to section 511 that is 511 and the last one is accomplish when this stage comes when the crime is committed completed for those who have learned something new in this video i, re- I request you to like and hit the like button and subscribe for those who find this video interesting and knowledgeable or le- and learn something new from this video i request you to subscribe this channel because i am going to put each and every section from 1 to section 511 in detail and telling you each and every loophole and essential ingredient of every section for those who want to ask me any question regarding indian penal code you can mail me or you can ask in comment i will answer each and every questions as early as possible